Um, so would you please tell us your name? Uh, my name is Todd Burns. I'm a graduate of class of 1981. Um, and what did you bring to the harvest today? Oh, I brought lots of things today. No, actually, I brought four things. First of all, I brought my wrestling warm-up mm. from, well, 77 to 81, and that's the back of it. And then we zipped it up the front. We had this nice uh, V-shape uh, maroon stripe with some white trim on that. So that's the first thing. And then some... Obligatory cups. This was my cup from 77, which is left over from 76, as you can see, uh, with the, the Crusader on the mount on the horse there. And then we have your standard bookstore fare, which would probably be frowned upon now, uh, right here. And then one more. I got it. Senior research. They gave us these little, whatever these are. And so we got for all that effort for senior research, we got a cup. So there we go. That's it. <laughs> Unless you want a story for each one. Uh, did, uh, how did you get them? Well, the, again, we'll, we'll go in reverse order then. Yeah. Okay. So this was for senior research. Uh, my research, I was a biology major, so my research was on uh, simulated acid rainfall and the effect of a uh, root shoot ratio. I really don't remember what the results were, but I know that at the end they gave us this, this little cup. So, and I remember uh, that was one of the first times I had to present anything, so that was, that was kind of neat. So I got something for it. Yeah, it was good. And uh, like I said, this was standard yearbook fare, not yearbook, uh, bookstore fare. You go out and you buy a cup, and that was what we had. And this one must have been early. must have been, like I said, when I got here because of the leftover kind of 76 motif on it bicentennial, which is way before most people's time, it seems, but uh, but then you, you had that nice crusader in the front. So that one kept, I don't use that anymore. I don't want anything to happen to the, the decal oh. on it like that. So And of course, my wrestling uh, warm-up, they don't have wrestling anymore, so it's really important to me that I keep that and share that with the university. So maybe someday we'll get a club or a team back on the campus. That would be great. Um, and why did you decide to bring those items to the harvest today? Well, they each mean something to me, as you heard, you know, like I said, the, the, the senior research thing, that was great. I was a science teacher for, you know, uh, about 18 years, so I, I, I moved right into that. And so that was kind of the, the birth of, or the genesis of my, my science career, if, if you will. Uh, and then the cup was just kind of like the social life. I met my wife here, and so that was great. Married, two great kids, that's good. So, uh, so that's that part of it. And then uh, the athletic part would be the wrestling singlet. So it was kind of each a piece of my career here at Susquehanna. Um, and how did you hear about the History Harvest? I don't think I saw it in any of the original emails. I think I got it somewhere on a follow-up email. I saw it, and then when I saw it on the follow-up email, I said, I don't remember seeing that when I signed up for the weekend. So then the follow-up email got me hooked, and then that's why I said, I know I have these things around the house somewhere. <laughs> so we did that. Um, those are, like, all the questions. Well, can you tell us any more about your time on the wrestling team? Yeah, we got here, um, the guys in my cohort, if you will, my class, uh, in the fall of 76, they had had about maybe four or five really just terrible seasons. I mean, like, I don't they might have won one or two in there somewhere. Uh, and then we had a, a nice group of guys that went through the next four years, turned the program around, and then really got it set up for the people that followed us. I think we were about 500 over those four years, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, but then I know that some of the years after that, they did very, very well. So mm -hmm. that, that was great. Charlie Coons was my, my coach. He was a great guy. So uh, we enjoyed it. In fact, we were some of them, those people last night were reminiscing last night. So that was good. Not much more. I, I, well, trips, wrestling, let's see. Oh, yeah, stories. You really want stories? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember the time we wrestled Juniata, which I don't think they have a program anymore. We wrestled Juniata. Obviously, wrestling's a winter sport. And we were out there, and we had to come in. I don't know what road we were on, but it was just a snowstorm. And we were in the van. Coach is driving the van. We all think we're going to perish in the night, you know, and there's, the snow is coming straight out. You can't see the road. And that was a, an interesting one. And then I remember coming back from, I believe it was uh, either UMBC, no, probably Johns Hopkins. 
and there had been a, a quick flash snowstorm that iced everything up. And I remember getting on the on. I think I had a semi formal that night, and we were all worried about getting back. And to get on the road, we were just bound. The ice was on the road so bad, you were just bouncing off the curb on the on ramps to get onto the highways and stuff. And so, so that was another interesting trip, uh, wrestling. Uh, other than that, just uh, the. Uh, just going to different schools because we'd, we'd head up into the Wyoming Valley, head to Scranton and Wilkes, and then we'd head down to Baltimore for Hopkins or somewhere. And I don't think we went to Washington, but just got out, got in the Lehigh Valley a little bit to some of those schools. So it was mm -hmm. fun to travel, you know, and get out and do those things. Wow. So I don't know if there's anything else fascinating about my career here. <laughs> well, what were your experiences as a biology major like? They were great. Uh, again, great university professors. Uh, had. Dr. DeMott, I think, was the head of the department at the time. Dr. Boone was my uh, advisor. He was also my neighbor where I grew up, which was kind of neat because I was local. Uh, and uh, Randy Harrison, and it was a small department then. There's, there's oh, um, Dr. Bruce Presser. So everybody had the same four people, and he just rotated the classes they were mm -hmm. going through. And of course, the, the facilities we had then were nothing like they have now, uh, but we did great. Everybody was very successful. We got through. We were laughing about that because I met some biology majors last night, mm -hmm. and we were talking about that, that uh, we turned out okay. We didn't have all the equipment. We didn't have all the buildings, but gosh darn, uh, we all got to be successful and do what we kind of wanted to do. So that was good. I wish I had the equipment they have now. It would have been great. Uh, but I was, more of a, I was a, more of a field biologist person more than a laboratory research, get me out and identify or study or dig or whatever. That would be more me than uh, working in a lab. That wouldn't be, okay. wouldn't be me. So what building were your biology classes in? Well, we called it the science building at the time. <laughs> uh, Failure Lecture Hall was in it. Uh, it's the building. Yeah, Fisher. It, Fisher Science Hall, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, I had, we had lecture basically in failure for the general classes, general chem, general bio, okay. general physics, mm -hmm. uh, physics one or two, and then uh, and you kind of moved upstairs then when you had your classes in your labs, once you got in the upper level classes. In fact, at the time, I think we only had about, by senior year, I think we only had 10 bio majors left. So, oh. so I know it's wow. bigger now, so, <laughs> but that's okay. So we got personalized attention, which was really great. It was a teaching mm -hmm. university, so you got, you know, and they knew what you were doing. Like, so they knew, oh, you're having a good wrestling season or that, you know, they could really talk to you on a personal basis, which was really great. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's a really big selling point is Susquehanna, I think. Yes, definitely. Do you have any more Oh, stories? geez, I could, oh, I have stories I can't tell you. <laughs> 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 Let's be honest, but, uh, you know, to cut that out, don't put that in there. Uh, gee, I don't know. Not, not so much, really. So. Any information like about your research for biology you could tell us? It would have been nice at the time had I had Excel <laughs> and the ability to do the statistics and regression analysis and everything, mm -hmm. not doing it longhand on paper, but just highlighting my data and then putting in, putting the formulas in, yes. voila, <laughs> and then hit a a, a, a plot, you know, a, a button and graphs a, a line and gives you the equation of the line, and gives you the R value and all that other stuff. So it would have been really nice to have that because that's where my the research wasn't so bad, but my statistics certainly gummed up a bit okay. uh, when you had to do it all by hand. So and that was the problem. Um, that was fun. I mean, it was it was you had to have the discipline to get in there and do the treatment on your. In my case, I had to simulate acid rainfall on the plants and. If you forget, well, then you'd have to run over to the science building and get up there and you know <laughs> spray them with the water bottle and make it, you know make sure your pH was right in the bottles and, and, and do those types of things. So it was a lot of work, uh, but it was worth it. You know, it was fun. That's good. So I learned a lot. So that's about it for that. Uh, were you part of anything else on campus besides the wrestling team, like any fraternities? Yeah, I was in the Lambda Chi Alpha fraternity. Uh, was that? What's that? How was that? That was great. Uh, it's now the Scholar House now. Uh, oh, so the Scholar House. The Scholar House. Now, interesting that, that you, you brought that up, and I do thank you for bringing that up. Uh, what is now the, I believe, the computer lab of the Scholar House was our bar room. Oh. Yes. Now, I'm going to show you something here, and don't, don't get paranoid here. On the bar room, i got to do this, was a painting. And it was where good friends meet. 
This was on the back of the, <laughs> the back of the behind the bar. So now it's Susquehanna University Crusaders. Now you see Lambda lives. Okay, so we're there. So. Oh my goodness. Oh. So you weren't expecting that one, were you? Nope. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> I've been in that computer room. I didn't know it was. Yeah, the bar. that was the bar room. Yeah. yeah. I think I buttoned oh this wrong, gosh. but uh, yeah, that was you came in. Uh, uh, let's see, you came in. Yeah, you just came straight in the front door. The kitchen was to the left, dining room was to the left. You went straight back, and that's where it should be. And then behind that, to the right, was the laundry room. I don't have any idea what was back in there now. It's probably just storage or something now. So that's it. So yeah, it was fun. That was the kind of this side of it, the social side. Yeah. Of it.